was doing well in the business world. Um, I, had, I have a great relationship with my wife and my family. Those things were all on track, but this one thing was always hindering me just to have complete happiness in my life. My diet pass started in the third grade. I was told to be put on a diet, you know, at that young age, at the age of eight. And it was, uh, it was emotionally crushing. But as I got older, it became harder to lose the weight without um, help. The cycle that everybody talks about, it was really real for me. It was just hard walking around, catching your breath. I couldn't get up a flight of stairs. I had to have help uh, putting my shoes on with my daughters. For the last 20 years I've had diabetes. I would even lost some of my vision at night and I just, it just got worse and worse health-wise for me. My primary care doctors, they would just prescribe more and more medicine to me. A friend at work had the surgery done and I got to see her as I struggled with another diet, as she became successful just right before my eyes, I just came to the point where I said, I have to look into this. I have two, two teenage daughters, which um, they're very supporting. I have a lovely wife that I've been married to for 19 years. Going to the hospital to have the surgery was, uh, it was a little fearful. You know, I, 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 I was afraid because I'd never been in a hospital. I would recommend the surgery through Dr. Cron and, and St. Bernadine's to anybody. They took care of me and it was a great stay there. When I was interviewed for before weight loss surgery, they asked what one of my goals was, and of course I was near 300 pounds, and I said I wanted to do a marathon. And I don't know if anybody took me serious, but I was really, that's really one of my goals. I run um, four times a week, and I do it, um, it feels great to do it. Every morning I'll, I'll get up before work, um, when light just comes out, and I'll get out there and I'll start running. We just recently started a nonprofit group that's going to be dealing with kids and helping in inner city. Before the surgery, I couldn't work a full day. I had to go home halfway during the day and take the calls from home. Now I have a ton of energy, so I work a full-time job, and, and I also do the, do the nonprofit work on the side. I have a little bit of self-confidence now. Uh, it's probably too much sometimes, but I, I do. I feel really good about myself. I've been on a diet until the surgery for probably over 30 years, some sort of diet. If they're struggling with the same things that I struggled with, um, and even other things that they may have problems with, it is so life-changing and so beneficial. I wish I would have done it sooner, that's the only regret I have. And towards the end where I, I said, you know, I'm not gonna let anybody stop me from getting help. The weight loss and the winning moment you have isn't 100 pounds later, the very first thing is sitting in that chair and deciding, I'm going to do this. When you're 300 or 400 pounds, or if you're carrying oxygen into this room, and, or you have diabetes, or you're losing your health, or you're afraid of losing your limb, it's not the weight loss that's going to be the key. It's your decision to have it done. You get like a kinship with anyone who's had the surgery. They're like immediately family. I actually miss mortgage payment to do this and I would do it again. I would lose the house if I had to. I'm a better dad and a better husband now. I'm not grumpy and I'm not sick anymore. I'm not worried about putting weight back on. I'm more concerned about just becoming a better athlete. I've been um, able to do the uh, world famous Camp Helen Mud Run. You have the Marines barking orders at you and helping you as well. It's like a journey that you're doing physically, but it reminds you of life in a sense that you have all these obstacles that you get through through life and if you just keep pushing forward, even if it's with help with people, um, you can get through it. I want to run the LA Marathon in 2013 and I want to wear a shirt that says I'm a bariatric patient.